This video is sponsored by Rich Wallet. How's it going? Do you have an old phone that might be a little bit slow? It's winding you up a bit. You have a new phone in your basket, but you don't really want to buy it. I got five tips. Well, it's more like six. In order to help make your old iPhone faster, nicer to look at, and nicer to use. So my first tip for you is what I call the hard factory reset. First of all, obviously make sure you've got any files backed up that you want to keep. But after that, completely wipe your phone and don't restore it from a backup. Well, this will make it marginally faster. There's still going to be a load of stuff that we don't want and doing a full reset really gives us a clean slate. Step two, start putting your apps back on your phone, but do it mindfully. Again, the reason we start with a clean slate is because when you're forced to reinstall all of your apps again, you actually have to think more carefully about what you're putting on your phone. Before, while well, you may have had like 10 really heavy apps on your phone, chances are you'll only put three of them back. So while I wouldn't discourage you from installing any apps that you want to install, just be mindful about what you're putting back on your phone. Doing a fresh uninstall also removes junk files from your phone. This might be old stuff left over from software updates or old apps, but this really does give us the best fresh start we can get. Tip two, use iCloud. Now I know a lot of people are using iCloud these days, but keeping less stuff on your phone's physical storage, I found it does make your phone run better. Chances are your photos are already stored on the cloud, but if you have any text documents or local music files, then try keeping them on iCloud. Cloud. Tip three, if your battery sucks, replace it. Now, this one kind of sucks to do, but replacing a phone battery is much cheaper than it used to be to do, and this will make a world of difference when it comes to your phone experience. Your iPhone will stay charged longer, it won't run out every time you leave the house and it's the one day you've forgotten to bring a charger. Yeah, having a good battery on your phone makes a world of difference. However, when you do get your new battery, it is important to practice good battery techniques. Number one, don't use low power mode unless you're out of the house and you absolutely need to. No, watching a few more videos on the bus before you need to get off is not a need. And when you do need to charge your phone, let your phone run down until it's almost empty. Charge it up and then unplug it once it's done. Well, this certainly isn't as important as it used to be, lithium ion batteries have got a lot more sophisticated. A good way to think about charging your phone is to think of it like a really strong stream. Over time, that stream is going to erode the riverbed, so while you might not immediately see damage, over time, your battery will literally get worn down. Fun fact, that's why phone batteries don't last as long. They are physically worn down by the electrons. As I said before, a good battery makes a world of difference, so if your battery sucks, probably time to get it replaced. Quickly, before we get into the next tip, a word from this video's sponsor, the Ridge Wallet. This Father's Day, you can treat your dad with the perfect gift, or just treat yourself, with a brand new Ridge Wallet. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles to choose from, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Ridge Wallets are also made with RFID blocking technology to protect you from digital pickpockets. And the Ridge is so confident that you'll like your new wallet that they'll actually let you test drive it for 45 days. If you don't love it, you can send it back and get a full refund. And to top all of that off, if you use my link in the description or pinned comment or enter code bub at checkout, then you'll get 15% off your new Ridge wallet. Once again, a huge thank you to the Ridge wallet for sponsoring this video. Check them out through the links below. Tip number four, try to cut down on the aesthetics. Now I know this one isn't particularly fun to do, especially if you've got a really nice home screen, got all your shortcuts created, your, all your widgets. Well, having lots of shortcuts and widgets isn't going to be great for your phone's performance. And so if you found your iPhone is really struggling, it might be best to just use the stock apps. It may suck, but you will thank me when your phone's not chugging along like a steam train. Something else that's good practice that I think we've all had to tell our grandma at some point is to close your apps when you're done. We all know that relative who has like 18 different apps open at every single point. If your phone's running slow, make it a habit to close those when you're done. It's going to save your battery and it's just going to make your phone run better. And finally, almost, tip number five, clean your phone physically. This may seem obvious, but the amount of times I've seen gross looking old iPhones is genuinely shocking. Honestly, it's never not a good move to give your phone a clean up. Make sure you clean out the charging slot as this can often get clogged up and cause intermittent charging, which as I said, we're trying to avoid here. And if your screen is cracked and you can't immediately get it replaced, chuck on a tempered glass screen protector. I've actually personally done this with my iPad. I dropped this phone on it and the iPad screen broke. I use it for work and it would take too long to send it off to get fixed. So this way I can still use my iPad without 
cutting my finger or making it worse. Also, if you have a phone case on your phone, take it off and clean it. Dust will build up in the back of your phone case and it will scratch your phone. Trust me, it sucks. It's happened to me. I've made these mistakes, so you don't have to. My final tip is an aesthetics one. If you're bored of your old phone and want to bring new life to it, a nice new wallpaper or a nice new case can really help your phone feel brand new for much less money than a new phone. In fact, somebody commented on one of my videos a while ago saying that whenever they get bored of their phone, they find changing their wallpaper really helps them to avoid the temptation to spend a lot of money on what for them would be an unnecessary upgrade. Personally, I agree with this. I think making your phone look exciting again is a great way to make your phone feel new without it actually being new. And while this certainly won't impact the performance of your phone, that's not necessarily what makes a phone feel old. Sometimes your current setup can just start to feel a little bit stale. So having a new wallpaper or a nice new case of your choosing can really help bring some life back into your old phone. Overall, it's always nice when something can breathe new life into a slightly older piece of tech as it can save you money and it's more environmentally friendly than upgrading every time you get signals that your phone's starting to slow down. While I have given you these six tips, I don't necessarily think you must implement them all. For example, if you really like your custom icons, then keep them. Realistically, the main thing I definitively recommend is that hard factory reset. And even if all you've taken away from this video is to just change your wallpaper, I hope I've managed to help you make your phone faster, better, and more enjoyable to use. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know, by the way, what are some of your tips for breathing new life into an older piece of tech? Feel free to let me know in the comments. I always enjoy reading those. As for now, though, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this and smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I'll see you guys in the next one.